Okay, so we've got a good look around this uh, 1996 on a P, Land Rover Defender 90, 300 TDI. Um, prepared for off-roading, looks pretty tough and mean. It's, um, it's got at least a two inch lift on it. It may even be a three inch lift actually. Um, but it's certainly been lifted at least two inches. Modular wheels with a matching set of uh, five um, MT style tyres on. Snorkel, um, looking in there it's got uh, orange springs on the front and yellow springs on the back so obviously uprated suspension. Um, it's got a great big worn winch on the front um, on a high clearance front winch bumper with um, diff guard and steering guards and everything all uh, built into it as well. Uh, means business this one. Um, light bar on the roof with uh, four spotlights on which I think will work. I think I've had them working. Um, and a, uh, a pair of orange rotating recovery lights on the top which also work. Uh, otherwise body is straight and original apart from it's got some um, high mounted exhaust sticking out there. Um, Factory tow pack with adjustable height um, bar on it, rear mud flaps, and that's about it. Although this one's been built for off-roading, it, it's very, very original paintwork wise, and it's not too battered about. Um, really quite uh, solid and straight actually. Uh, just going around it from the front, as I say, I think certainly all the paint around the front end is original. Um, certainly up here, this is uh, all as it left the factory uh, in 1996. Obviously the bumper's been replaced with um, the winch bumper style, but um, all looks very smart and clean up here. Uh, looking down the near side, a few little rib ripples and uh, things like that as you expect with the Land Rover. Near side front wing is a bit dented and pushed in here, but it hasn't broken the paint. Um, it's just sort of uh, has been touched in, I think, in a few minor areas. Um, looking at the near side front wing, but uh, slightly crinkled, but paint not broken, but it's the usual place where they get crinkled. And because of that, the modesty cover is um, slightly, uh, um, the, not the modesty cover, the, the eyebrow is slightly pushed in as well just there. But that's, um, as you can see, it's flexible plastic anyway. They're designed to be like that. Um, tiny, couple of tiny bits of electrolytic reaction just around the, uh, the base of the, um, the near side front wing. But bulkhead on both sides, actually on the near side, looks uh, really quite superb. It's never been um, uh, disturbed or got out around here. This is all very good. Um, tiny bit of bubbling just coming up there, um, but it's very, very, uh, very, very minor. Certainly nothing to worry about around here or up here or anything like that or down the A-post. It's all very good indeed. Near side front door, there's some electrolyte reaction and paint loss just on the corners, both front and rear there. Uh, but it's pretty good up here, which is where they normally start to uh, um, get reaction. Just a few sort of general marks and scuffs and scrapes on the near side door. Um, Let's see what the door frame is like. It actually feels fairly solid, although there is, on these later ones, there is a rubbing strip along the bottom of them that uh, can kind of hide all sorts of nasties, but it's not, there's no sort of uh, um, rust sort of line down here or anything, so I'd guess the frame on the near side door is actually pretty good by the look of it. Um, inside here it's actually for an off-road, it's fairly clean. Seats are, are ripped as always, but clearly you can buy replacements dead cheap from um, uh, X more trim, uh, although in fairness a set of uh, um, waterproof seat covers would do it the world of good really. Uh, dash is fairly straightforward, a couple of extra uh, switches in there for the, um, the extra lights and we've got stereo um, radio CD and stuff in there as well. Um, easy clean interior basically with the mats and everything and the, uh, the vinyl seats, so ideal for, for off-roading. Um, Near side rear wing is all fairly straightforward. There is some electrolytic reaction and paint loss just coming up around here a little bit and around the, the tail end, around the exhaust and around the galvanising trim there. Um, but you do kind of expect that on, the, on a, a Land Rover, certainly of this, uh, of this sort of age and vintage. Um, but say so overall very straight on the near side rear wing. The um, tail end is all fairly straightforward, nothing to get to to really comment on there, it's all fairly up together. Um, down the offside, again slightly crinkled and stuff, the, um, the latch on the driver's door, I think it's possibly had new rubbers on it because it uh, you can close it, it just needs a tiny bit of adjustment for it to uh, shut onto the second latch, but that's uh, not uncommon for these if they've had new rubbers put on them. Um, 
Offside rear wing, as I say, some electrolytic reaction up here, just around here. There's a slight hole that probably could do with that. Actually, what it would benefit from would be um, some uh, checker plate trim on the uh, on the rear quarters there, which would get rid of a lot of that. Uh, there's a slight hole in the um, in the alloy skinning just there. A um, few sort of areas of uh, reaction just around here. Um, it's obviously had a bit of paint around the fuel filler at some point and a couple of bits of reaction there but otherwise fairly straight. Driver's door's got a slight depression just here in the barrel side but otherwise um, fairly straightforward and a minor dent just down there as well um, but otherwise okay the roof is fine the roof isn't dented. Um, up here on the offside scuttle again first class really really good round there nothing to worry about there at all. Um, offside front wing slightly dented in the um, in the front corner just here which has obviously sort of pushed it slightly away from the um, uh, the eyebrow a little bit so a little bit of a dent just there and a slight, slight one just there as well you always tend to get it when you take these um, off-road modesty covers on the offside are fairly straightforward and look original I think the near side one's slightly crinkled from memory it's got, not the way I do it normally but it's walked around actually no not too bad possibly a very slight crinkle in the near side modesty cover going back again um, the offside again the driver's seat slightly ripped and well is ripped and torn especially the backrest has torn down the seams um, but all very straightforward in there just standard sort of easy clean interior driver's door card is all there and all good but again the bottom of the driver's door actually feels quite solid it's hard to tell on these later ones but it doesn't feel too bad and it's not um, crispy all over the uh, all over the floor again uh, obviously the lock for the driver's door seems to have fallen out of its guide Never mind. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk if you want any further info on this 1996 on a P uh, Defender 90 300 TDI that's been uh, quite well prepared for, um, for off-road use. We take part exchanges, we take um, debit cards and Visa and MasterCard credit cards, both with um, chip and PIN facility. Um, we can ship it anywhere in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.